Good morning everyone, I hope you are well. It's Rachel here, of course, and we are going to do Roxy's weekly challenge and today we are going to make faux library card pockets. And so I'm going to start off with some uh, tea dyed paper. This one is four and a half inches wide and just the length of the paper, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight, a little bit more than eight inches. And then this one is just over four inches wide. So you get two different sizes. So just cut up a piece of copy paper, A4 copy paper, and, um, and then cut it into three along the long the long side of the paper so what I'm doing is just folding down a little bit on the side so that was probably not quite half an inch a bit over a quarter of an inch and then you just fold it up maybe two-thirds of the way even less maybe a little bit over half fold it there so you get your creases okay we're going to cut off this long strip here and leave these here the, the shorter side so open them out Um, and then cut down your crease here to where the, the folds meet and then just cut at a slight angle that way like that okay and here I'm going to start there to the corner a little bit more and then we've got men working out in the hallway um, you know out in our building hallway uh, so they're starting the exterior work on the building. So then you can also like um, you can round your corners or not round them. So I'm going to round them with my flap folded. I mean million. I mean these have been done by so many people, but I thought it'd be fun to make some because I haven't made any for quite a long time. And they're nice pockets just to glue down onto a page or clip into a page, depending on what you have on the reverse side. And then these flaps. Actually, you could they don't normally have this, but you could punch a little semicircle if you want to, and then these will fold over there. It's that simple. That's how simple they are. There, like that. So I'll just quickly glue those, and then you can see the one made. And that's how fast it is. So definitely will be mass making. A chunk of glue there. Look at all that glue. Glue that down there. And that down there and that is my pocket and that can glue down onto a journal page I didn't put my snip there in in the right spot and then if you really want to be authentic you can do the stamping I'll just get this not that one where is it I'll get my stone gray and you can do stamping like with um, with uh, you know the letters the numbers so that's going to go that way so I really need I don't like this thing I bought it I think I bought it on that no I think it was in some sort of package from someone and I don't really like it it that they don't move so well so what I need here see they just there's no dot there did I miss it no there's no dot so we won't use that well maybe we will I want to move this one to the blank spot and that one. That one doesn't hurt. Oh, I see. You've got to. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we'll do it this way. We'll have two point and then we'll just take away one of these if I can. Oh, there we go. That's not really how it would be written. Let me just test it. Um, I'm just because it's it's messy. I'm just going to put that there. Okay, and then you can put like I've got these little stamperia um, things. You can just do like well, they probably have a capital, but anyway, we'll just do. The first letters B. 
So you're kind of making it like a faux library pocket. Brill. <laughs> and then I forgot about these little stamps. I just saw them there. And then you could do, then they have the titles and things down here, but I don't really have, oh, I have these ones. Um, I was going to say, don't have them small enough. And I've got these, you can use these clip-on ones too. And I thought I could do, um, let's just grab, pull them out. I know it's terrible because you have to wait for me to find everything. So we're going to mass make these, but you can also, you can make them with so many different um, papers. So, so first of all, I'm going to do um, the more traditional. So you just have to bear with me while I find my bits. I need that. I need a capital L. There it is. Hmm. I'm looking for my D. I must have a D somewhere. Here it is. So I was going to stamp wildlife. So I need my, I just need to find my F. Here it is. And I think I put my E aside. And then you can have like, you know, makeup author and that sort of thing. And that's your little traditional, more traditional sort of um, pocket. Let's just throw those in there. So we'll do all of the stamping afterwards if we decide to. But then I also thought we'll make another one. If you do want to go through and do all of that, sort of put these numbers and things like that, you could really just use some of these, these sorts of things. And just pretend even though they're not exactly what would be there you can use those so this one's going to become bigger this one's going to be bigger oh it's going crooked now that's no good is it when i fold that it's yeah, it's crooked now how did that happen Okay, well anyway, I'll just fold that up and see what happens. I'll put that there like that. So these are the plain ones. So I just want to show you examples and then we'll, we'll just make a whole lot and have fun with it. So remember to cut your long one off. Now you can also make them with, you know, sort of with pockets that are flat, if you know what I mean, without this. But then they, these ones are much, it's look how, look how they are, they're much easier to tuck things into. So we'll just glue this one shut and try the other stamps. And I didn't clip this one, but that's okay. They can all be different. They don't all have to be the same. Okay, I might still do that because I like the look of that. Try and center it this time. And I may just round the top corners. Okay, and then I thought you can just simply take one, something like this, and stamp that there rather than go through. And then this number, look at this, this is a good number, already done for me. Like that. And then maybe we'll do, I'm just making up my, I don't have anything in mind. I'm just going to make it up. I'll just pull out these ones that I already pulled out and do the ops and that. See there, I don't, I don't normally use these. They're pretty messy stamps. Like they get those, that mess.
Okay. So that's that. And I might put a I might put a dot after the number like that. And that's really done and they are decorated. Um, so that's the traditional sort of making them look a bit more like library um, pockets. But then we could also, um, will I do them with, oh, I thought I might make one. I have these old, these aren't old, these are, are new, but these are um, just some sort of receipt -y sort of thing. Um, and I thought I might do those. So I might just, where's my trimmer? I think I like the the wider one more so I wanted to keep that side I might just trim these down to four and a half and that piece I can use in collaging I just coffee dyed these four and a half Okay, let's just prepare a few pieces of paper. So we're going to try some different things. So I've got that. If you were to use something printed, you would need to um, you would need to um, what do I want to say? I can use this. This is some coffee dyed cut. It's very grungy for me though. I don't think I'll use that. Um, you'd need to have it printed on both sides unless you're going to collage on it. So let's try one. I've got one that some that aren't printed on both sides. Let me just move all my bits and maybe we'll see what to do. What do we do with that if it's not printed on both sides? I'm just trying to decide. Maybe I'll get one of these painted, printed painted ledgers. How about that? That's a mouthful. So what I need to do is I need to trim it I'll just trim down here. I'm just going to make up the height. Just trim off the edge. Okay, and I'm going to make this one four and a half. Okay, so let's try those and see what happens. So this one I'm going to fold up like this. So I'm going to have um, the 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 printed bit on the fold up. Now because I don't want that to be upside down, I'm looking at it. I'm going to fold it over like that. It's going to be cute. And then I'm going to trim off my. Well, I'll do the folding first. Let's do the folding and then we'll do the trimming. This one. So just eyeballing how much I'm folding over. And again, I don't want it to be upside down there. So just check which way which side you're folding up. Did anybody get a fright with the squeal? <laughs> oh dear, boy, boy was Steffi in the doghouse for a minute. He gets himself out of it pretty quickly, but it was not a good day. Okay, so we're just cutting off our long bits. Okay, oh, and I need to cut this one. It's 
what I think I'll do in this video is show you all of the things that have popped into my mind while thinking about what to do today. Um, the, the, all the different sort of variations that we can do with these. Now I wonder if I, I think I might just snip these like so and then also at the top. I won't snip that one at the top yet because we have to do some more work on that. We'll do this one. Okay, so these ones I can glue because these ones don't need any collaging on them. There and there and that just folds around the back it's a bit crooked okay so that's that one we'll do this one So I'm just thinking what's going to be next, you know, for my Roxy's Weekly Challenge. But <laughs> I'm wondering if I've run out of ideas, but I don't know that because I just make them up as I go. I don't even have a plan. I just decide right before the video. Well, sometimes I decide before, but mostly I decide right before the video what I'm going to do. So, okay, so let's look at this one. We need to cover up this bit here. So I can just take some different papers. Yes, that's looking good to me. Take some different papers and um, collage them, really. That's what I'm thinking. This one has a hole in it, so I think I'll have to put it there. And I might just put it over the top, so that way I can snip it off and be sure that I've covered up the white. And I've got this little strip here. Why would we waste that? Glue that down there. Cool. Yeah, so I can't really tell you if I've run out of ideas yet because <laughs> I don't plan anything. I don't have... I did start off by writing some down, but then I couldn't... I couldn't have a list because I have to do what I feel like doing on the day. So um, I just ignored the list. And the list didn't get too far. I think it got up to week 30. So I've done some of the things on the list, but not all. And I may do some, some of the other ones, but um, I just have to see. Okay, so that's that. Look at that. Now this I'm going to snip here. And let's just have a look at them. So that one's a bit wonky. It doesn't really matter. Um, so with these ones, I think I might put something up there because that one's got a bit of a fold happening. So these might be more traditionally decorated rather than you know, as in my traditional decorating, not um, library card decorating. And then I think tomorrow I will make tags to go in them. We'll explore the possibilities of the tags to go in them. Okay, and this one... I think it's a, Possibly do with a little bit of book page somewhere, maybe there. Didn't really, but that will be glued down into a book anyway, so that won't, I guess I didn't need to worry about that. Put that there, and that kind of balances that up there. Hopefully, I'm on screen. Sorry, guys. And I wonder if I might like, 
I get distracted by the yellow backing on these sticker label thingies. I think I might like that there. We'll just stick it down. We'll just do it. I like the colours with it. And then up here I'm thinking I've got some... I've got this left over from something. Or I think... No, not in here. In the other one. This one. I've got some stamped numbers somewhere. Or some stamped bits. Here we go. On old book pages. It's a good idea just to... If you've got an old book page, you know, end paper left off, just stamp away on it. And then keep it in a little folder ready to go. I think I might put that there. I need to tear it down just a little bit more, I think. I think I'll put that up there. Or will I put it? Oh, maybe I like it. No, I put it up there. Okay, so that's that one. We'll put that one aside. Now this, let's do this one. Maybe I could stamp. I don't know. Let's just see what's lying around here on the table. Don't want doilies. A little piece of paper here. trying to figure it out here. I've got bits and pieces of this. No. here. Maybe I like that down there for a diff for a change. And then up here I think I'll stamp this. So I'm keeping them fairly simple. Stamp that and then maybe stamp Gonna be careful and try not to get the and put that one to in there, and we need a dot. Okay. I like that, but I still want to put something else, I think. Don't want any birds. Let's just have a look here. Not that one, maybe this one. weird okay we'll just put that aside but I might like I'm thinking but I might not one of those trim trim it down I think any smaller ones no I 
notes. I think I might like that more on that one. I do. I think I like it here. I'm going to glue that there. So I'm jumping over to the other one for a minute. You don't really, I don't think I really need too much on them. I think I'll leave that like that and stamp. Maybe we'll try a different stamp. We'll do this one. That's a different pocket. Oh, you know what else I could put on? I don't know if it'll work. Let's just have a look here. Where are they? Okay. I thought I might like to put something like that on, kind of like a tab that you can write on. But I still need something else on this one, so I think I'll put glue on there. To the line there, okay. Right, and let's see, <clears throat> I've got these little flowers here, Yes, I think I like that there. I'm going to put that on. I'm just going to tear a bit more off. And there we go. That's a very elaborate one. Okay, so that's those. Now, the other what thing we can do is, just let me find some. I want to do one with a book page. I've got this is quite strong book page. It's not as old as some of the book pages. I'm not even going to actually trim this one down. What I'm going to do is just fold in the, the border. So when you fold this up, you're obviously going to have, um, you know, part of the writing is going to be upside down. I think in this case, yes, I think I'll have that. Oh, no, maybe I'll have that bit upside down because you don't see as much of it. And I don't think I want this border, this edge here. I'm going to trim that off. Hopefully it was straightish. So we'll glue that. This is nice thick book page, so it's um it's a bit crooked the way I cut it, and I'm going to snip my top corners off. It's okay. 
Now, I probably could have, you know, glued something on there before I closed it up. But, um, oh, I think this um, monotone colour is going to be great here. So let's just choose, I think I'll choose this bit here. Okay, so we can tear it. there and there and then I'll I'm just going to glue that across here and then I can trim off the excess And then here, I think I will snip that out. And we're going to put what? Oops. No. Quite like that, and maybe have a bit of this. Yeah, okay. Put that up there, but I need also need to tear this down a bit because it's crooked. I stamped it crooked. there so we've got faux library pockets traditional and not traditional I mean these where they're just simply stamped like that and then you put a pretty um, tag in and then these are not traditional these are decorative sort of ones I do like how this one turned out we might do some more book page not that one um, no, I don't think I want any we could have a nice big label we don't want to cover up the uh, butterfly maybe a little Tracy label would be nice on this one Yes, you see, we'll have a splash of red. Okay, I'm going to glue that up there. And I, oh, I love that one. That might be one of my favourites. And I also love this one. I really like the colours in that one. We've always got to pop in a little Tracy label somewhere. Okay, let's do another book page one. Um, you don't want any um, sort of book pages that crack. You don't want, yeah, you want them to be um, strong. You don't want any cracking happening. And of course, the size of your pocket will depend, the width of your pocket will depend on the size of your paper. Okay, so that's that. We'll do our snipping here. Obviously, if you if you sort of know what you want to use, um, you can definitely, uh, what's the word, you can definitely mass make. So do all your, get all your papers out, rip them down to their width, 
do all your folding, then do all your cutting, do all your gluing, and then you do all your decorating. But I'm just flippy flopping through different types just to show you the different thoughts of things. Now we don't want any glue there, so I just snip that bit off there. And then we can glue those down. Although I'm not gonna glue them down yet. I think I'll put something here first. That's so gonna go around like that. That's what it's gonna look like. Okay, so I need to put some paper here. I could put this, a piece of this big butterfly there, but I won't. We'll keep that for something else. I don't want that. Would be sideways. Let's just see if we can find something to go there. I'm just looking at my stamped bits to see. Oh, that was my little template. That's one with a book. Hey, I could finish that one off now, couldn't I? Um, oh, I've got these stamped bits. How did we stick that on there? I like that. Or this one. That one. It's just a stamped piece of paper. Okay, so I can glue that one down. But I'm also going to finish off the my sample one that's been sitting in my basket for quite a long time. And I knew that I wanted to do it as one of my Roxy's Weekly Challenge because I haven't done many of these in the past. I might have had one video doing them, but I don't know when. Maybe in the 100 Day Project. But I haven't done many. And I think I'll just snip my corners off here. And it's not finished yet because we need to do something down here, but that's a start. Okay, and now we'll do this one. So this one I'm going to glue down because I've got that writing okay and that writing's upside down. So we'll do some collaging down there maybe. Paper here. And this was the full width of this book page I can see pretty much. I think I trimmed off. Oh, that was I trimmed off my folded edges, that's all. So it's the full width of the page. So you get a nice big pocket. So maybe on this one I could put this big piece of butterfly. I could even put it up there. I think I'll put it here. I'm going to rip it down, but I'll put it. See, it's chopped off. I'm going to put something else as well. Oops. I'll put the butterfly. I might even have the butterfly like that. Let's just see. there and there that could even be like you could even go really but that could be another pocket oh why don't we do that let's make that a pocket yeah I'm gonna make that a pocket great I'll just tear that off all I need to do some lumpy bits there is I need to put some glue across put some glue on my edge here on my flaps here, the flappy bits that go around the back and so this is a library card a library pocket with a double pocket and then I need to just run some glue along the bottom so it isn't amazing how variations just come as you sort of flap about and make decisions then you then you get a variation out of it I need to put that on there fold that run round And there, I need to trim those or glue them down or trim them off. Okay. And so I've got a pocket there and I might um, go ahead and just do my little snippity there. So you can see that. But I I'll put something along here, I think, to distinguish it from the other bit. I don't know how long I've been here for, guys. Maybe a really long time. Probably thinking, is she ever going to go? Oh, I quite like that there. Do I want to put anything underneath? Put that up there. So 
So that kind of defines, tells me where my pocket is there. And I will do my snip there as well with this. I can't really see how far down I've gone, but I'll just give it a go. There we go. So that's there. And then up here we need just a little something, something. Throw that out. Just trying to see what I've got floating around here. Ooh. Oh, I stick that there. Just fell into my hands. Just trying to find a spot that's not sticky. And so we've totally gone off um, on a tangent here with the library cards. Library pockets, I should say. Scissors. And there we go. So that's that one. Okay, now this one. I really like this bit here, so maybe I don't want to cover it up too much. Um, just looking what I've got over here in these stamped area. I don't think I want more stamp stuff. Pick those. Where's my stamp folder here? What would I like to put here? Maybe this one of these because they're a good size. Oh yeah, I'm going to like that. And then I feel like I need maybe some some blue Florentine paper or something. I think I one. In fact, this one. Yes, a little bit of this. Yeah. Put lots of glue on this one. Okay. And then I might even stamp. I'm going to stamp this word. Cool. And do I want this number up here. Yes, I do. And I might even have some letters. Okay, I think I've been here for a long time, so I think I'll end it there, but I do have a few more variations, so maybe we'll do those tomorrow. Um, I need a dot, just a sec, after my, because that's abbreviation. Um, I think I'll come back tomorrow and do my um, variations. I've got two more variations, I think, if I remember. I better write them down, so there's that one. So let's just recap what we did. We did book pages, and this one has the extra pocket. I really like that idea. Okay, and then we did, yeah, so book pages. One, two, three with the book pages. Sorry about the mess. I'm loving these. And then we did uh, tea dyed papers. So some couple were tea dyed, just trying to grab it, tea dyed receipts. But they were not used ones and they're new, but I just tea dyed them. And then we did just tea dyed plain paper. And you could stick 
I probably will go and do that. Maybe stick a little bit of washi there or something like that just to decorate them. Or you could put a super embellished tag in there. You know, something really pretty in there that you could see pops in a bit of colour sort of thing. Uh, oh, these were some variations that I did of the window pockets. I just, I used my die cut out of a paper and I stuck them to Steffi's journal cards that he had done for me in one of my kits. And I thought that was really pretty. And you could have the little journal card um, image peeking out behind. And then I put, I made them to fit the tags there. So I need to push it down further. It does fit. There we go. So I thought they were really cute. Anyway, um, and then I did one with the um, printed paper and I did have to cover up that bit there, which wasn't very much. So you don't actually have to print on both sides on the printed paper. You can just cover up that front bit. And then I made just a simple pocket with the printed out painted paper. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, super fun project to do and there are some, a couple of other variations that I want to do I'll write those down so don't forget and I'll do those tomorrow and we'll do some different ideas for tags or cards to go in them as well so that's really fun so I hope you enjoyed that um, I still have I had to have two days of antihistamines because um, silly me put a bit of um, we were, when we were going out to lunch on Friday I dabbed some of the <laughs> mosquito spray on my neck and I had a reaction to it so it's been a bit unpleasant but it seems to be getting better today um which is it's just making me a bit quiet that's all so I hope I, I hope to be back in action um pick up the energy tomorrow so anyway I apologize for that I hope you enjoyed this video I love these I'm going to be making more of those um and yeah and I'll see you again tomorrow because I'm going to come back with a couple more ideas and then we'll make some things to go in the pockets. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.